Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. We have got another episode of Pokemon Collections where we're taking photos that you guys, the viewers, have submitted to me and we're going into different subreddits like these so we can bring us the best looks and hopefully give you some inspiration for your own collection. So kicking off the episode, we have this one from Flinker Mamonga. That's a name, but sharing his little collection that he made. Uh, he made these custom frames for his Game Boys and for his Game Boy cartridges. The gold one is custom painted, he said. It was an old silver Game Boy he painted gold. The cartridges are the ones that he purchased as a kid growing up, and then the boxes were ones that he had to purchase later on in life since uh, as a kid he threw them away, which I feel like is a very relatable thing. So don't guilt yourself if that happened. But I do love just how he like cut out the foam and everything. This is a really clean display. So A plus on this one, very good work on displaying these collectibles. Showing off more collectibles. This one's coming from Marsh Mally. This uh, again, we've got a theme here so far with these like framed collectibles, but these are all of the original Tomy Pokemon, it looks like. Marshmallow says it took 24 years to catch them all and finally finish their childhood collection. So this is super sweet. Sounds like when they started this little project, they had about 120 of these figures, but did end up having to replace a few because some were like missing arms and tails and it's all sorts of different little parts. So some replacements needed to happen, but overall this is pretty great looking. I love the idea of it being more like shadow box than shelved. I've been trying to think of how to like display smaller figures up on the wall and this was a really good idea so I appreciate this. And another collection that is, I really appreciate. This is super clean, very minimal, but check this one out. This is from Thomas Stahl 96. It's beautiful. This is wonderful. It's so clean and organized and as we zoom into the actual photos you can see that there's stickers on the binder and I just love that idea because it's very small, it's very minimal and like just the, the OCD inside me is just so pleased with this collection. So fantastic work. Thomas does say that uh, they created these stickers but was used a local printing company to print them. So I'll see if I can do some digging and if I can find some stickers or anything, I'll put it down in the description. But this whole collection is vault uh, So if you are interested, vault I do have a 10% off code down in the description. I'll make sure that's there if you want to pick up any new binders for your collection, if you need to throw some stuff in there. Got that 10% off coupon down in the description. And it's good on Amazon. Now, a massive collection here. This is all coins. So this is coming from user Princess Megnu. There's 422 coins in this collection, so we might have to flip through these kind of quick. But these are all her coins. I'm assuming it's a her because princess, but maybe I'm wrong. But this is including stuff from pre-release days, stuff from like original like base set things. Like there's so many different generations of coins in this collection that is just it blows me away. And these pages are perfect because like you can just slide them in. I did a video prior uh, on coin collecting and how to like organize them, but I think I like this display a little bit more. But I don't know where these pages came from, so I'm doing some digging. It seems like they bought them from a UK shop. If I can find something similar again, I'll have that link down below. But I really appreciate this and just the coins. It's something unique and not a lot of people are doing it, So, but I just love it. Now this next one is really cool because this is coming from someone who actually makes their own displays. So this is from Crafty Rhombus 21 and they make these like little Pokeball holder things that look really cool. I uh, just really like the, the look of these things. Unfortunately, they did get a little bit of grief in one of their earlier posts where they had them displayed in a window. If you don't know, like UV rays can kind of like warp your cards and make them not so good looking. But they did relocate them to this shelf and they're looking fantastic and he does sell them. So I'll link an Etsy shop down below. I'm not affiliated with them. So there's not like any bumping knees under the table thing going on here. But I just thought they're really cool. So if you want to pick those up for your collection, they'll be available there. Because it might look good for something like uh, this user. We've got JCL3031. This is their Pride and Joy, their Evolutions V and V Max collection. This is actually pretty sweet. I do love the EVs, and they did such a good job with the alternate art artworks in these generations. So JCL's got the ETBs, they've got the actual like V Max cards, the V cards, and they're all organized on these cool like acrylic stands and acrylic holders all across these different shelves. Love that coin also. And I actually really appreciate like the level of organization that goes into the display because like we've got certain evolutions against like other evolutions like with like the ETBs specifically like I love how it's just organized like this is really nice. 
Now this next one is coming from Wilmar. This is a user submitted one. They were able to email me pictures of their collection. So thank you so much, Wilmar. If you want to submit your collection, also I'll have contact details down in the description in case you want to do that. Uh, just email me here. I think I'll display it on the screen. Ideally, give me some information about the collection yourself if you would like. Uh, this way we can talk about it on these videos. But Wilmar's collection looking really cool. Actually, first thing that stands out to me is he's got a Pikachu wall clock with a little tail dangling down. I think that's super fun. And then right beneath it, we've got the badges from Kanto and Johto. That's actually very unique. And I love like the black display of that where it's all raised up. That looks really good. Moving into the next shelf right over, we've got some fantastic Pokemon all displayed here. Love the Ho-Oh and Lugia. That's a big statue, like that very nice piece right there. Loads of little like Funko collectibles, like we've got the little Pikachu mood statues that are in there. There's actually, now that I'm zooming into this, there's a Sinisty and Poltegeist. I didn't even know they made those things. That's pretty sweet. So I might have to get my hands on that. Uh, moving down further, we've got loads more other collectibles. That Magnemite's looking really cool. You got the Lechonk piggy bank. And check those, peep those, those Pikachu shoes down there. It's got like the case and everything for them. Getting into this larger bookshelf. We've got all of the Funko Pops in there. We've got also figures standing in front of them. Looks like we've got some Remint figures in there. Love that. Wilmar definitely seems like he's importing a lot of things because he's got the Litwick stand in there that actually lights up. And uh, shout out for the... Galar starter statue in there because I use that in my own videos and the background of my card openings. I see you. And then looking like we have some really nice display, like you, the display piece for the Pokey Walker in there looks fantastic. We've got a lot of really nice acrylic cases for all of these like Game Boy collectibles. You got the Pokedex. This is super nice. Love the way that you were able to display a lot of these electronics, like with the Switch, like the, uh, the Fuji film. Is that what it is? Or Fuji something with the, the, uh, the camera there? My man, like you have got some great collectibles in this collection. We've got our Onyx statue, got the Jumbo Funkos down there. You even got some Oreos. And if you're watching down in the comments, you let me know, are those Oreos sealed or did you like eat them and then reseal it? Let me know. Over on the other corner of his room, possibly above the bed, I'm not sure. Over there, we've got in this corner, we've got some other Pokemon collectibles, which some of these I'm a little bit unfamiliar with, but they look really cool. Uh, I got my eyes on that radio control car though. That's pretty sweet. Got some more Funko Pops over here and a Pikachu toaster. I love the unique stuff. Like, I, I don't know, I'm weird like that. But then moving along, uh, we also have this fantastic photo of Lugia and we've got Ash on Lapras with the Wingle all over. And coincidentally, we did feature this artwork in episode five. So I'll link that artist down below if you guys wanna check out the art that they're able to provide. But Wilmar, this is a fantastic collection. I love diving into those shelves like, I mean, obviously I blew through them very quickly, but you have so many great individual pieces in there, like thumbs up, That's a, this is a very nice collection. Great job. And actually, as I film this, I actually got another submission. So we're gonna squeeze this one into the middle of the video. This one is coming from Alex. Thank you so much for sending in all these photos. A nice clean shelf display, I dig it. Plus you got the squish models, you got some Pez in there, like already off to a fantastic start. Looking at the top, I also appreciate some greenery. I don't know if those are real plants. They look like real plants. And it's actually something I've been wanting to incorporate into my collection somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna pull it off, but I love that you're doing it. I love that like you have a lot of stuff in this display also, but it's not like overly cluttered or smashed together. So great job on the display of all this stuff. Zooming in a little bit closer onto some of these shelves. Uh, we've got the Pikachu smiling. I like that its arms kind of like, I don't know if this was on purpose or not, but I like that they're waving kind of like you're doing like a aloha like wave dance thing uh but again the pez dispensers down at the bottom you got some etbs stacked all interesting i dig that also i love a dratini plushie i haven't seen one of those in person so love that you have that and you have that charmander mega blocks thing i think that's cool also impressed that your coins are standing up that would i'm sure that took a minute to balance and then on the right side we've got no love for bulbasaur we've got charmander squirtle eevee and gengar the squishmallow so looking really good. And then another angle up on that top shelf. Uh, we've got the Umbreon ball, which is not technically an official ball, but I have seen these on Etsy. Those things are really cool. I actually really like this Umbreon, the way that it's come through, like that black looks so good. Then looking at some of the walls, we've got uh, we, some the Kanto region. We got the whole Pokedex right here up in poster form. Up above, we've got various uh, Pokeballs with the Pikachu in the middle. 
this Alex great collection. Thank you so much for sending it over. Really appreciate seeing collections like this, like it's very modest. I like it, it's clean. So again, if you want to submit your own collection, pretty it up, take some photos, email me down below. I've got the link to my email that I'm using for this. Let's get more people featured into these videos because you guys are sitting on some fantastic pieces. Jumping on back over to Reddit, we've got user a Jones 614 with their updated collection in these really cool glass bookcases and the lighting that's probably my favorite part is the lighting but we've got a lot of money sitting in these cases so we've got some team rocket booster packs there's jungle fossil we've got the original game boy game boxes in there jumping down taking a closer look at that bottom shelf we've got the charizard upc and for some reason i totally forgot about the burger king gold cards so seeing these on here like it was just a nice little nostalgic touch for me but got the nice charizard collection there moving up into uh I just i think probably his favorite cards on here for some reason i saw the gengar first and i wanted to say gengar collection but that nine tails is one of my favorite cards so love to see that in there a lot of base set in here then taking a closer look at that top shelf again like this is a great collection again I i'm a sucker for lighting as you may be able to tell but also fantastic collection now taking it back to the organization side of things Poki Marametia says they started collecting light, but they started trying to build a filing system so they can keep track of all of their cards. Now, looking at some of these, like, maybe not like the most ideal way to source some of these cards, but I love the idea that, like, you can use these little, like, plastic dividers, print out something on them, so this way you know exactly, like, what is part of that set. Like, I know we got a lot of bulk cards sitting around, but even if you had... A lot of your cards sitting in like top loaders and you were able to find some cases for those like having just a nice filing system for them i think would help a lot because i'm going through a lot of my bulk right now and it's a nightmare <laughs> so uh seeing this really kind of like spoke to my heart like i just i need to have better organization with my cards so shout out to this like this this was really nice now i like to include at least one of these in each video but this is coming from user b set i think uh this is the magic harp master collection this is almost every magikarp in the tcg they say that they're missing a couple of the newest magikarps they're just kind of chilling and waiting for the prices to go down and i don't blame them but this is basically a master collection of everything magikarp and you know you just love to see it magikarp fantastic pokemon shout out to all my magikarp fans out there we've got commons I don't know if it was ever anything higher than a common, but we've <laughs> we've got like the Shining Magikarp in different languages. We've got some reverse hollows. We've got a shirt in there. I didn't even know Magikarp was on a shirt. It looks like it's a uh, chocolate Magikarp with no fishy taste, it says. That's pretty, that's funny. Uh, but we got like some plushies speckled about. We've got some figures. So these are just fun. I love like a good theme to a collection. Uh, you know, just gotta have some fun with your collection. Then we've got a whole collection from FitPound1071. This is pretty cool. I'm also slightly confused by this collection because I don't understand what this room is. But, but it looks like there's like a bunk bed right out of the gate where the Pokemon are sleeping down on the bottom. But then we've got some shelves like in the bed or like on top of it. I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking at there. And then as we move through the collection, like we can see all sorts of different uh, like plushies figures, deck boxes. I th think that's like a poster on there. So just a lot, a lot of things to go through on here. But I'm most confused by this image here because then is it like, is there a closet back there? Is, are you trapped in this room? I just, uh, <laughs> I'm very confused by this, uh, by this room, but love to see also some Pez dispensers on the left-hand side. Shout out to all my Pez collectors. Also stoked to see a shiny Lucario hiding over there on the right-hand side. But really great collection i'm just again i'm so confused by this room it also looks like you are a big fan of lucario which i uh, love that as well as a couple other pokemon seems like you've invested uh, in a couple different evolution lines then we've got a whole funko collection in here and also you got some pokemon quest figures and not a lot of people have those i feel like those were not very popular so i'd love to see those that they're in somebody's collection so again if anybody knows fit pound 1071 i need to understand this room and then we've got technically a collection. This room, it's actually a Pokemon themed classroom. This is coming from Seven Skull Designs. This is super cool. I love this because I, I, I know that, like I don't even know who this person is or these kids, 
but I just guarantee these kids are stoked on it. And I love to see some RGB incorporated into a classroom, especially when it's all like cinder blocks like this, like it looks like a bomb shelter, but love to see Pokemon just having such a strong presence in here. We got Pokemon all over the walls we've got them on like the shelves. We've got even some Pikachu curtains. I haven't even seen those before. I'm not exactly sure what's in this little like grab bag though, but love that like it's even a thing. It reminds me of like the little bags you get after like you go to the dentist. But like there's just like actual like just custom things in here. Like, I don't know, this is a really cool idea. I wish I had this as a kid. Maybe you're jealous too. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you would like to submit your own collections, make sure email them over down in the description or post up on Reddit. Um, if it gets enough traction, I'll probably see it and we'll start to incorporate them into the videos. So thank you guys so much for your time. I appreciate it. Take care of each other out there and I'll see you very soon on the next one.